So we have a patient that's coming to see us today. She has a lot of varicose veins on the inside part of her leg, which you can see here, and all this pressure is coming down. And when it comes down to her ankle, you can see this whole network of dilated veins because the pressure is extending in this area. She also has what we call some blebs. There's these little dilated little veins that you almost don't want to touch because you're worried they're going to start bleeding. If they do, these little guys can bleed for a long time. So the issue here is that the pressure this pipe or this vein continues all the way up the leg and then continues in the deep vein. So I'm going to show you on our ultrasound what's going on. So with the ultrasound, this is the only way to determine what's actually going on. If we just look at her leg, that's, that's fine, but that's not going to give us the answer. So when we look at the ultrasound, this is the vein that extends all the way up the inside of her leg. It's called the left great saphenous vein. And this vein has some one-way valves. Sometimes you can see them where it goes into her common femoral vein. So you can actually see the little blood moving through. There usually is a valve here. It's kind of moving back and forth, but it's really not doing anything. And the way we diagnose uh, the uh, incompetency of this valve, we push some blood up through the vein. So you're gonna see that there. And then I let go. Sorry. And what you're seeing, this is called reflux. It means that the blood is actually just coming right back down this pipe. So what we're going to do today is we're gonna close this pipe with a procedure termed endovenous laser ablation. We're gonna heat it up and close it. And when she comes back next week, that will be closed.